Todd Duncan, welcome to Sales Therapy. It is Monday, hope you're doing great, hope you're going big in 2017. Uh, I wanna to talk to you about measuring, and measuring is near and dear to my heart because I think that uh, success is a bunch of measurements over time that are frequent, not that are infrequent. We, uh, as you know, have launched Hytrus Coaching. Hytrus Coaching is in the marketplace. We have um, continuous monthly onboarding of new coaches. We have continuous onboarding of new students, and we're very excited about what's happening, but I have to tell you that probably the aha moment for most of our students is when it when it when it got very clear very early on in the intake conversation that they would have to be measuring things every single day. They had to measure how many conversations they had. They had to measure how many loan applications they took. They had to measure how many loans were given to processing. They had to and they have to measure their funding rate. Um, all these things are a new discipline for I'm guessing north of ninety percent of the people that are engaging and coaching with us. And I was talking with one of our coaches, Kevin, and he said, I'm surprised by you know how many people are don't understand the power of measuring daily. And he and I were talking about it, and it for most people is a foreign concept. What I want you to do every day this year is I want you to measure the things that are important to you in your life. If they are health, if they are weight, if they are cholesterol, if it is fat, if it is energy, whatever you can measure in the physical realm, measure it. Be your best you in 2017. In the loan business, measure how many conversations you're having. Measure how many people are saying yes. Measure how many people are closing. And measure that every day. And it may be some days you have zeros, but it's better to have a zero today and make up for it tomorrow than it is to have five zeros in a roll, row and only realize it the following Monday when you sit down with your branch manager. I want to tell you something right now. Peter Drucker is right. He said, what gets measured gets done. And I want you to understand the power of that. If you're not measuring, you don't need to wear, you don't know where to focus your time. If you're not measuring your hourly rate, for example, you don't know if you're improving in your overall income picture. Um, if you're not measuring the effectiveness you have in an interview, if you're not measuring how many calls it takes before somebody meets with you, if you're not measuring how many minutes you spend in an interview before somebody says yes, these are all things that you have to get your head around. Um, if you sat in your kitchen and you wanted to make like the best chocolate chips in the world, ch chocolate chip cookies in the world, you wouldn't get a bowl out and just start throwing stuff in. You would measure. You would measure not only what you need, but you would measure how much of it you need, and you would measure the certain things that have to happen at different stages. That's what business is. Business is measuring. So if you want a success recipe, if you want to come out on top at the end of the year, if you want to make sure that every day you're growing, learning, and getting a little bit better, better try every day just to measure some basic things. Measure things that make a difference to you. Measure things that make an impact in the marketplace. And at the end of the day, measure how many minutes it's taking for you to make the money you're making. And if all year long you can make more money in less time because you're measuring, that is going to be a gift. So it's up to you to figure it out. You're gonna measure, what gets measured gets done. What gets measured also can get improved, okay? So that is this week's lesson. Take it to heart, it's important. Measure, measure, measure.